Bueno, la verdad que me siento increíble, la verdad que no me lo esperaba, ha sido una competición súper dura, los mejores voladores del mundo han venido hasta aquí en Windor a competir, ha sido una competición muy reñida, siempre todo ha dependido de miles y más de segundos y al final nada, me he alzado al primer puesto, por suerte o, o gracias al entrenamiento, pero nada, súper contento y nada, y con ganas de seguir a por la próxima. Bueno, en estos wingers me centraba sobre todo en la disciplina de solo speed y en la de two-way. La de four-way no la hemos entrenado tanto como pudiéramos, ya que somos cuatro participantes y conseguir que los cuatro estemos disponibles para entrenar es más complicado. Pero eh, la de solo speed y la de two-way la hemos entrenado bastante y bueno, los resultados han salido bastante bien, aunque seguiremos entrenando para que vayan mejor. Well, we're super happy. I think uh, the team performed very well. We're super, super happy to be here on Windor. I think uh, we made a new world record in uh, the highest average. So what, what more can you be, uh, be happy about? So uh, I think we did very, very, very well and happy to be here. Uh, man, the level is so high, both in, uh, in our discipline and also in all the other disciplines here. It's super fun to watch and it only pushes the sport, you know. Uh, as you know, we're trying to push it to the Olympics. So and this Windor does a very good job promoting it. And let's see what happens. Hopefully we get there. Um, I think we were very close and we're very excited for it. It's still far away, but it gives us enough preparation to, to get there. And uh, we, for one, support it 100%, if not 200. <laughs> well, it's, it's great. It's, it's sometimes a bit of a pressure on our shoulders, but we pull it off each time and, and it's just amazing that we can keep, keep continuing uh, the winning strike. So we're not planning to, uh, to stop it yet. Yeah, I think for solo freestyle, for me getting first, I think I feel really, really happy because I really, really tried my best for this routine, but there's a lot that I need to improve on, so hopefully next year I'll come back even better. Yeah. Well, last year was super amazing, but this year was like even better. Everyone got really, really good, and it's really, really exciting to see how the community has grown, and they're really improving. Yeah. Uh, I think we're the one and only team uh, who has done it before. Okay. Uh, my name is Amy Watson. I've been flying for almost four years and I'm 12 years old. How are you? I'm pretty excited, yeah. Feeling good. Uh, in the world. I mean, it's amazing to fly with everyone and to get to know everyone better and seeing new faces again, it's completely amazing, yeah. A lot of training, yeah. Um, changes of music here and there, but in the end, it just worked out pretty well, yeah. Oh, so, like, it's kind of like every kid's dream. Like, if they dream of flying, it's basically the same thing in the tunnel, except there's loads more things to learn and do, and, yeah. Do you recommend experience to fly? Oh, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Uh, more kids in the sport would be amazing, yeah. Thank you. Oh, um, all the kids flew like pretty well. The little ones were like the cutest. Um, all the older ones were like super serious, but they had great levels of experience. Um, and yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Coralie Boudreau, and I am 14. Thank you. Uh, the I think the level was pretty high, and I feel very good about my routine. Uh, they were very good, and. I liked um, the fact that there was uh, a lot of different styles in the routines. Uh, my name is Malachi Diath and I'm 13. Yeah, um, for the scoring, I love the fact that there is two completely different styles, and which are 0 0.026 apart, and two Canadians as well. So that's a really great thing. And uh, the rest of the competitors, I love that there's, this is a growing competition and there's more and more and more people getting into the sport and beginning to compete and getting better and better. Uh, well, our tunnels that are in our area, um, which we are lucky to live near, because there's not very many in Canada, um, we were lucky enough and fortunate enough to be sponsored by iFly Toronto and Sky Venture Montreal to give us the chances and the better chance to be here and be able to do what we did. This year is a professional. Um, I think this is a very good thing to have like little kids competing uh, in our sports because 
they will continue and it will bring the sport like further and I like the fact that there is a lot of kids competing. But it's also scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And such a young age. Yeah. What do you feel about uh, indoor skydiving being Olympic? Uh, personally, I think that would be great for the sport and it would be, it would advance so much to people that, other people that are in the Olympics and other sports with such dedication and strength and like gymnastics and trampolines and other things that would carry into the sport if it became such so big and so known f from the Olympics that it would progress the sport in a really good way. Um, my name is Krzysztof I'm 11 and I'm from Poland. Uh, I, I started flying three years ago and I fly because my dad uh, is a skydiver and uh, do exercises to uh, jump to with uh, yes. Uh. Bueno, básicamente la filosofía de vuelo que tengo es bastante diferente a la que se lleva ahora mismo y bueno, he apostado por romper la línea y abrir un hueco en el freestyle de una forma diferente e impactante. El tema de la alta velocidad es que te ayuda un poco más a, a corregir los movimientos y la baja velocidad, claro. Es mucha técnica y tienes que utilizar el mínimo de velocidad para poder moverte y bueno, y es bastante más complicado. ¿Qué vestido así? Sí, básicamente es un prototipo que he hecho junto con la empresa Vertigen de aquí de Empuria Brava y bueno, hemos trabajado en un mono más ancho para, para eso, para mitificar un poco el tema de la velocidad baja y poder ayudarnos un poquito más con la tela. Bueno, el tema es que a mí me gusta mucho Bruno Mars y, y sobre todo la, la canción de 24K y bueno, y me he basado sobre todo en eso y un poquito con el estilo más street y un poco fusionando todos los deportes de la calle como es el parkour, el breakdance y un poquito el, el hip hop de Bruno Mars. Bueno, básicamente yo desde que soy volador he seguido mi filosofía de vuelo que es lo que he hecho hoy y bueno, no encontraba el momento para hacerlo y bueno, este año me he decidido y, y me he tirado a la piscina. Uh, Tan llamativo para el tema de la velocidad. He bajado la velocidad de, del que está acostumbrado al volador de fe a la rutina y a la roba y a la estil y bueno, la entrada, la surtida, la agresividad volán y, y sobre todo bailar la música ha sido muy importante. Para acabar, explíquenme. La verdad que el meu sentimiento es de mucha alegría y bueno, era una cosa que pensaba desde el primer momento que, que vaig a comenzar a volar y la misma filosofía de, de vol es eso y, y he volgut fer-ho a túnel. ¿Hem visto la idea? Sí, una miqueta, para mí el freestyle es una cosa así, anar amb roba no, no molt apretada y al parkour, al breakdance, al, al BMX, todo eso del freestyle, pur freestyle. Y, y siempre el meu estilo ha sido muy diferente del, de la resta de voladores y siempre han em diuen Fred, ¿por qué no fas eso? ¿Por qué no fas alguna cosa diferente? Y bueno, Aquí está Sigut Alain y bueno, estoy muy contento.